Okay, students. So welcome back, and uh, I hope you remember what we have studied until now. That is until the last class. We had studied about the metabolism, and in metabolism we had studied about the two types. Yes or no? In metabolism we studied about the two types. That is, metabolism has got two types. That is, metabolism has got two types. That is one is. One is anabolism, and another another one is catabolism. Yes or no? There are two types. One in metabolism, one is anabolism, and another one is catabolism. So, uh, we'll know more about what is anabolism and catabolism. And before that, just we'll have a refreshment. What is metabolism? Yes. So metabolism. Uh, what is metabolism? That is a kind of a reaction that takes place uh, in your body. That is a breaking down reaction that takes place in your body. Some total of all the chemical reactions occurring in an organism. In any of the organism, whatever the reactions takes place, some total total number of the reactions that takes place in a body. Okay, in an organism body that comes under this. This is nothing but metabolism, and there are two types. One is anabolism, and another one is catabolism. Okay, so uh, metabolic reactions also can be carried out in vitro, that is inside the lab. But uh, those are uh, neither living or non-living. It is just a reaction. Okay, and metabolism is one of the defining feature of living organism. You can see here, right? Why I have explained it to you in the last class as well. What do you mean by defining feature? Like other reactions, other things like breathing, walking, moving are the one of the defining feature of the living organism. That that says that okay, if you are breathing, moving, uh, running, those are all other. Uh, characteristics of a living organism then metabolism is also one of the defining feature or a characteristics of a living organism okay so uh, got to know right what is metabolism so in that there are two types uh, two types such as anabolism and catabolism so we will know more about that what is this what are the uh, what is anabolism reaction and catabolism reaction Okay, but remember, anabolism and catabolism are the two types of um, metabolism. Okay, or the two broad types of biochemical reactions that make up metabolism. Okay, if I ask you, uh, what is uh, anabolism and catabolism? So you have to tell, uh, just like a in example, like just like in definition, then you have to tell that these are the two broad types. Or uh, two uh, types of biochemical reaction that make up metabolism. Okay, so these are the type of this uh, by anabolism and catabolism is a type of metabolism. Okay, and what is metabolism? Metabolism is nothing but a together sum of the chemical reactions taking place in a organism. Okay, sum of the chemical reactions taking place in an organism. Now coming to catabolism what is catabolism okay now until now i have just been telling you what is anabolism catabolism these terms i'm just been telling you now let us know what is like catabolism actually is so catabolism breaks larger molecules into smaller ones okay what does a catabolic reaction is it breaks larger molecules into smaller ones if this is one a large molecule what happens this catabolic reaction with the help of the enzymes or the molecules what it does it breaks it into smaller it breaks it into smaller ones okay smaller ones then it has been broken down into the smaller ones okay so what ha this happens this takes place in which reaction catabolic reaction or a catabolism where catabolism breaks larger molecules into smaller ones the reactions governing the breakdown of the food to obtain energy yes what happens when you take up the food usually now what you do during a breakfast lunch then the dinner and all you take up the 
food yes right you take up the food that what happens once uh, you take up the food you chew it in your mouth yes or no you uh, make it um, into a bit smaller pieces yes or right you make it into a bit smaller pieces that later it goes on to the your uh, food pipe that is your esophagus and then it goes to the stomach there what happens there the catabolism reaction takes place the food which are been broken down into a bit smaller particles are broken down even more so that you can obtain energy okay are broken down even more so that you can obtain energy okay and it is very very important okay why it is important because uh, Uh, to get energy or to get the ATP, that is adenosine triphosphate, for the all the uh, work or the uh, like moving, dancing, walking, running, all these activities you should do, right? So you need energy. Okay, for that, what happens here? The catabolic reactions helps you to get energy. Okay, where it breaks larger molecules, that is your food, into the smaller ones okay it breaks larger molecules into the smaller ones and the reactions governing the breakdown of the food to obtain energy okay what happens when so once it goes inside the stomach okay once it goes inside the stomach it is broken down into bit smaller pieces to gain energy okay to gain energy now uh, one more thing i just want to uh, want you to tell you is uh as you know that all the activities you need energy okay you know all the activities you need energy and it has been broken down now how does this breakdown takes place this breakdown is done by enzyme or the biomolecules okay enzyme or the biomolecules what does this enzyme do these are the catalysts okay or a catalyst okay these are the catalysts Okay, these enzymes are the catalyst to uh, carry out any reaction, uh, carrying out the reaction of digestion. Okay, carrying out the reaction of breaking down the food into smaller particles, carrying out the reaction for your any uh, other many such reaction, metabolic reaction which is taking place in your body. Okay, so what it does? These enzymes are nothing but the catalyst. Okay, these enzymes are nothing but the catalyst. It helps the reaction to take place. okay so how does this breaking down into smaller particles takes place this enzyme help into this enzyme helps this food to get into broken down into smaller particles okay so catabolism react uh, catabolism or catabolic reaction breaks larger molecules into smaller ones the reactions governing the breakdown of food to obtain energy okay to get energy okay to get energy it is uh, it's very important so that the food is broken down into smaller particles okay and the reaction has to take place this enzyme have to work there and you get uh, atp or adenosine uh, adenosine triphosphate as a energy okay as a energy to do many such activities okay so this is about anabolism and catabol uh, this is about the catabolism what happens in catabolic reaction what happens in catabolism it breaks larger molecules into smaller ones okay remember this in catabolism reaction uh, breaks larger molecules into smaller ones now coming to anabolism what happens in anabolism builds complex molecules from simpler ones in this reaction both are from the metabolism only okay in this reaction what happens anabolic reaction builds complex molecules from simple ones now what has happened this since small small ones molecules are there now from these on one big molecule is been built by which reaction anabolic reaction here also the enzymes only help for the building of this complex molecules okay complex molecules anabolic reactions use the energy produced by catabolic reaction okay anabolic reaction okay anabolic reaction use the energy okay the energy which is produced by this catabolic reaction okay the anabolic the anabolic reaction use the energy from the catabolic reaction or the energy got from this catabolism okay so this is about the anabolism catabolism which comes under the metabolism
which comes under metabolism so there are two types anabolism and catabolism so what happens in catabolism reaction breaks larger molecules into smaller ones whereas in anabolism builds complex molecules from the small uh, ones or simpler ones or the smaller molecules okay or simpler molecules and what happens here in anabolic reactions take up the energy from the um, from the catabolic reactions energy produced from the catabolic reactions and what helps uh, what helps in the reactions to takes place so enzymes helps in the reaction to takes place okay they are being the catalysts catalyst is nothing but which helps in to the carry forward in the uh, any reactions okay carry forward in the any reactions okay so this is about the anabolism and catabolism and this comes under metabolism okay now coming to this picture metabolism is composed of catabolic catabolic and anabolic reactions i remember you are telling you to explain uh, draw and explain about anab uh, metabolism and to draw this so uh, if i ask you to draw tell about the metabolism okay so you can give this picture here so why i have put this picture now you are uh, you must be very clear what is catabolism and anabolism so anabolism what happens here anabolism uh, from a simpler molecules a large molecule or a complex molecule is formed whereas in catabolism what happens the food the nutrients which you take goes here broken down into smaller particles atp is released that is energy okay energy then what happens this energy which is released by this catabolic reaction okay um, uh, catabolism or produced by this catabolic reaction what happens is used by this anabolic reaction or anabolism okay here what happens the uh, large building blocks okay smaller smaller simpler molecules come here and the big uh, or a complex molecules are formed okay uh, complex molecules are form okay this much only you need to understand over here okay do not just get confused with the picture so what happens here uh, what happens nutrients are taken place the catabolism reaction takes place okay from here the atp is released atp is nothing but energy okay and atp is stored as well okay so what happens energy this energy is used for anabolic reaction anabolic reaction what happens smaller molecules come together to form a larger molecules okay so this is about the picture you can just give these same things also as well do not go into deeper just understand this reaction okay hopefully it is clear to you if you have got any doubts you do please do ask me okay so this is uh, what we have already discussed about the cell organization hopefully you remember this uh, please do not forget from atoms to molecules if you like don't go to that level so just remember from cell to tissue tissue to organ organ to organ system and then the organism okay cell tissue organ organ system and organism this is a living uh, levels of organization it's very important for you to remember the levels of organization okay so now coming to the consciousness okay so what is this what is consciousness consciousness so usually uh, we say uh, you must be uh, very aware about these terms if you have come across in english textbooks or in literature or anywhere uh, anywhere you must have found this that you are conscious about your uh, about the people about the surrounding whenever you go outside you are conscious about your dressing your makeup or anything like that your hair yes or no conscious means something which you become aware about yes or right yes which you become aware about when you go anywhere out you become aware so how i am dressed yes right you how i am dressed how i am feeling so this is about what you are feeling consciousness so whenever you go out uh, you feel you feel conscious about many things you become aware about them the same thing the organism also are uh, conscious about many things okay uh, you must as i have explained you how the consciousness is okay how we become conscious how we become conscious so you must be aware uh, like you must have got an idea that 
we must have got an idea that what actually consciousness is and how the let me explain you how the organism gets conscious okay so it is an ability to sense their surroundings or environment and respond to these environmental stimuli okay and this i have already explained you many a times told you also that it is an ability to sense their surroundings or environment and respond to this environmental stimuli like and like the touch me not plant which i have a keep giving you example yes or no that is physical okay you go and touch it and it closes yes or no it's very um, very important and one of the amazing exercise yes or right yes so what happens it closes means it responds to you yes or no it responds to you okay so it has got a ability to sense their surroundings or environment so i'll give you one very interesting story to tell okay i'll give you one uh, short story you know what happens uh, everyone are very aware about who is jagdish and uh, jagdish chandra bose yes or no if you are not aware so i'll tell you who is jagdish chandra bose so jagdish chandra bose or G, um, jc bose uh, he is the uh, person who told about the photosynthesis process uh, if anyone knows about the capillary actions and all everything is explained in uh, this work so what happened was uh, he wanted to know that how whether the plants or the bee are they conscious about their environment so what he did one of my favorite experiments of him as well so what he did he kept two plants uh, in different places and one plant used to go and just admire that plant and tell that uh, you are a uh, plant you are so beautiful or uh, you are living so good flowers everything good about and the other plant used to go like used to scold that plant used to used to not uh, like used to go verbally okay now chilling used to do uh, in both the way in both the ways were similar but he used to go and scold that plant used to not say good things and he saw a very very amazing uh, this um, results of this experiment was uh, he felt that whenever he used to go and just admire that plant that plant grew well and the other one just had like withered out or couldn't grow at all so that showed that it is conscious about its environment it is conscious about the people the nature the words okay so it is uh, said that you usually should go and talk to the plants so they grow well okay this is one of the hacks so you should also do that uh, it is very very important okay so plants organisms are conscious about their environment okay they are conscious about their environment so and uh, there is many such things like physical chemical and or biological there are many things will come uh, will become aware about those things will know about those things will share about those things okay so now coming to also known as sensitivity example seasonal breeding and photoperiodism yes they are sensitive to light for example you remember we had seen one video and the the sun uh, the sun flowers uh, moving towards the sunlight okay when the sun rises up yes so what happens was that is nothing but photoperiodism when they turn towards the light there is and there are two types one is light and one is uh, uh, dark photoperiodism that is a different thing okay but they are sensitive to light okay they are sensitive to light and seasonal breeding is nothing but at that particular season only they breed they grow and they reproduce okay there must be some flowers you must have seen that you see only in that particular season or only in that particular time or only in that particular month okay that is nothing but seasonal breeding they breed only during that particular time okay so they are sensitive towards these things as well they are conscious about these things as well okay the organism not only the plants but animals as well uh found in all organism from prokaryotes to the most complex eukaryotes yes prokaryotes are nothing but single uh, prokaryotes are nothing but the uh, the uh, organism with a without a cell wall and uh, eukaryotes are nothing on uh, cell wall and a cell membrane whereas eukaryotes are something which are got cell wall and a cell membrane and a defined structure okay a defined cell structure whereas prokaryotes do not get has not got a defined cell structure okay you must have studied this in your lower classes as well what are prokaryotes and eukaryotes we will also know what is the differences between them what are the difference which makes prokaryotes and eukaryotes different okay 
but we have found that we find this consciousness from prokaryotes to the eukaryotes okay the eukaryotes are us which we have got well defined cell membrane in our cell all organisms therefore are conscious aware about their surrounding okay they are aware about their surrounding what is happening around they are aware they are aware about themselves growing moving uh, then the activities okay so this is nothing but consciousness human beings homo sapiens is the only species aware of itself okay self consciousness yes they are self conscious how we speak how we be there how we move how we talk how we dance how we sing we are aware about that yes or no we are self conscious uh, like we keep on asking people whether it was good whether it was nice whether i'm looking good we will keep on seeing yourself in the mirror to see uh, to make sure that you are looking fine yes or no that is nothing but self consciousness okay and somewhere somewhere it is good as well to be self conscious but it has to not be too much okay it's good to be aware about yourself okay so this is about self consciousness next coming to consciousness is the defining property of living organism yes so until now we have learned many such defining properties or defining features and consciousness is among one you agree or not but we are conscious we are self conscious uh, organisms are also same as well they are also conscious about their surrounding uh, about their um, how about everything they come uh, across like they are conscious are aware about the things if you go and touch the touch me not plant they are conscious about you touching them there is a quick response given to it does it wait to see that who is touching me or who has touched me only then i'll close it no right anything moving around if you put a stone also on that particular don't throw but if you put a um, stone as well on the and this uh, the uh, that touch me not plant it closes means it gives response to it it is aware about it uh, about its surrounding consciousness is a defining property of living organism patient lying in coma in hospitals okay this is for the human beings that is homo sapiens no self consciousness no not uh, non living as many organs or parts are showing all features are living yes they are living okay they are living they have it uh, like uh, it's not like uh, uh, nothing is working in them there will be some of the organs working but they are not they are uh, not conscious okay they are not conscious okay that's it they can uh, like they can feel some things around but not everything okay they uh, they will have uh, they can't respond to those things that is one of the things which you will find over the patients who are in the lying in the uh, hospitals uh, in coma okay so next coming to what is uh, now as we have already just uh, learned about this consciousness let us know what it is living organism as self replicating yes evolving yes self regulating interactive systems capable of responding to external stimuli yes all living organism present past and future future are linked to each other through a common genetic material yes so these are the defining characteristics of the living organism so let us go one by one one thing is uh, we are uh, respond to external stimuli if you go and touch a hot the uh, hot water hot uh, any hot vessel or anything like that you quickly remove your hand that means you are responding to the external stimuli you respond to the external things okay your response is faster because you are not numb yes or no the signals reach faster so that means that you respond to external stimuli okay they are self regulating interactive systems okay a self regulating system do give you the response that immediately take out the hand it is something which you have to not hold for a long time it may hurt you okay so that is what is nothing but uh, your response to the external stimuli then about evolution you evolve you change yes or no you evolve there is a evolution with every generation in generation you must be seeing some of the other changes happening okay uh there must uh, there are so many organisms which have evolved till now we as a human beings from animals have evolved evolved yes or no so there is a evolution which takes place in living organism and for a again like after 100 years you might might see us also evolved into something different okay 
so there is a evolution there is a change taking place among us okay next one is self replicating yes we self replicate okay our, our dna is our cells our even our behavior also our uh, even the human beings we self replicate okay there is a self replicating quality among us okay so all living organisms present past and future are linked through a common genetic material yes a common genetic material links us either it can be dna or rna okay a common genetic material links us dna or rna from your father for example you get the genes okay uh, son or daughter can make it father and mother and i'll make it your grandparents okay so from a, a grandparents they must have uh, the genes must have gone to your father and mother from you from your parents it comes to you that is either the son or daughter so a common genetic material that is the dna okay i take as but dna uh, stores all the information okay so this is the past present so let me make it as a future or okay, think that um, let me make this as a future so what happens is the past that is from here the genetic material uh, comes um, uh, linked to this till here the common genetic material from here from present it is linked to the future and from here it will be linked to here, another future here from you okay so that means that a common genetic material in that all the living organism are linked to each other through a common genetic material okay that is nucleic acids okay common genetic material you are being connected okay so this is about uh, today's class we learned about the metabolism in that anabolism catabolism what is anabolism what is catabolism anabolism breaks into larger molecules into smaller ones whereas uh, um, sorry catabolism breaks larger molecules into smaller ones and anabolism breaks complex molecules from simpler ones okay so this is about the picture which i showed you nutrients coming catabolism reaction taking place then the energy being uh, uh, emerging out the energy is used for the anabolic reaction okay cellular organization you all are aware then consciousness how the organisms are conscious is it is plants animals human beings how we are conscious how we respond to uh, external stimuli whether it is the light temperature ph or uh, touch okay so how we uh, react to it okay what is our response then this is about the living organism what are the characteristics of the living organism they are self replicating evolving self regulating okay then next coming to uh, that is response to the external stimuli they regulate okay then a common uh, this uh, genetic material is uh, genetic material holds that entire living organism um, uh, entire living organism is that is past present and future okay so this is about today's class if you got any doubts do tell me in the next class or a personal you can uh, personal you can ask me and do tell me how was the class uh, with anything if you have not understood okay uh, let me know uh, and also just share that how was the class how did you understood it how uh, how beautifully you have understood that particular thing or anything as such if there is anything as such you can just share it to me okay Thank you so much for listening students and uh, have a nice day everyone.